shot in these streets. And I'm just like you. We getting locked by these cops. And I'm just like you. We fulfill the prophecies. And I'm just like you. You might be light, I might be dark. But I'm just like you. We kill each other over colors. And I'm just like you. I'm in these ghettos in these slums. And I'm just like you. They call you nigga, call me spit. And I'm just like you. You were 1619, I was 1492. We getting shot in these streets. And I'm just like you. We getting locked. Welcome to FCN. Quick news of the day. My name is Officer Eben. And in today's news, we have the rapper Charles Jones, known as Julio Fulio, shot and killed in Tampa. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Riley Phillips. The rapper was celebrating his 26th birthday. This happened outside a Holiday Inn. If you could take a look at this video, you can see the bullet holes riddling the front of the windshield of this car. It's unclear if Fulio was in this car when it was shot up. On your side, Zach Wilcox joins us live now with more details on the shooting. And Zach, Fulio was a big name in Jacksonville's drill rap scene. Yeah, that's right, Riley. Fulio had 40 or dozens of different videos on YouTube and 45 million views on one of the videos, millions on others. So he's big in Jacksonville's rap scene. He was also a frequent face on our newscast for his connection with violence around Jacksonville over the past few years. I counted seven different articles that we published on our website since 2019 where Fulio was referenced in them. And at least three times that we've covered, he's been shot before once grazing his leg, another time while he was over in Houston, uh, and another time in his foot. So I uh, wanted to touch base, though, with our First Coast News crime and safety analysts about all of this. We did find out from Fulio's attorney that he was in Tampa celebrating his birthday. They'd been at an Airbnb that they rented. They exceeded occupancy at that Airbnb, which is when they left and went toward the Holiday Inn. And from Tampa Police's report, we know that he was killed there along with three other victims who were taken to the hospital uh, for treatment there, and that there were two cars that they found with bullet holes as well in that parking lot. And I talked with our First Coast News crime and safety expert just about what this means for, uh, for Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and if, this, if there's any possibility of, of violence moving forward. I think it only fuels it somewhat, and somebody will step up and take his place, and they see how successful he might have been and how much money he was making. You know, you end up copying him a little bit and carrying on his image a little bit. And Fulio's attorney said that they're not going to be commenting at this point while there's an ongoing investigation into his death. And he also asked us to respect the privacy of Fulio's family. In downtown, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side. Event, we had another young man that was murdered in the streets. And this is a recurring theme, especially with these young rappers, these young drill rappers, these gangster rappers. It's the same common theme. They're constantly gunned down and killed in the streets. So now let's open up with Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. The book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So what we have to understand as a nation of people is that there's nothing new under the sun. This murderous spirit that we have amongst one another as a nation of people, this is an ongoing spirit that we had since the days of old, even when we were in our own homeland. And Moses warned us about these things that was going to happen to us. So now let's open up. Let's actually get Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1 now. So this is an example of how we as a nation of people, we had this murderous spirit even when we were in our homeland in Jerusalem. So let's read that. Hosea 4 and 1. The book of Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. So the Lord has a controversy with us as a nation of people. Just like the days of old, it's the same ongoing theme even to, the, to, even to today. So the Lord said that because there is no truth in the land, there's no mercy. When we look at the lifestyle of Fulio, Julio Fulio, he had this claim to fame. He went viral making music, glorifying the death of other young so-called black men, Israelite men, making a mockery of their death, making a joke of their death. And this is the common theme, the virality of a lot of these young men who make these songs. They make songs glorifying the death of people who look like them, of men, young men, young teenagers who look like them. And this is what the Lord has a controversy with. There's no mercy amongst us as a nation of people. Read that part again. Verse 1, mm -hmm. hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, 
because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land mm -hmm. by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. They break out in blood, touch of blood. So you see this common trait? There's swearing, there's lying, there's killing, there's stealing, there's committing adultery. These are all sins that our young men like Julio Fulio, um, who's the um, ace, uh, I forgot the brother that he was beefing with. A lot of these rappers, they have the same common theme amongst, amongst one another. There's lying, stealing, committing adultery, grudge, grudging, hatred amongst one another. This is the same common theme that we had even to the days of old. Oh, let's just get Micah chapter 7 and verse 1 as well. The book of Micah chapter 7 and verse 1. Woe is me, for I am as when they have gathered summer fruits as the graplings of the vintage. There is no cluster to eat. My soul desireth the first striped fruit. Mm -hmm. The good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men. Mm -hmm. They all lie and wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with the net. So that's what happened to the young man, Julio Fulio. He was doing what he wasn't supposed to be doing, was having a, a birthday party, getting high, getting drunk, getting ready to commit fornication if he didn't already. And what happened? They laid a snare for him as soon as he left this hotel room, Holiday Inn. He was gunned down in the street, gunned down in cold blood. So the first part says the good man is perished out of the land. What is that good man? It's that good man that's applying God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's what's missing amongst us as a nation of people. Can you continue reading verse 3? Verse 3. Mm -hmm. That they may do evil with both hands earnestly. The prince acteth, and the judge of acts for a reward. Mm -hmm. And the great man, he uttered his mischievous desire, mm -hmm. so they wrap it up. Mm -hmm. So it says that they may do evil with both hands earnestly. The prince asketh, and the judge asketh for a reward. And the great man, he uttereth his mischief, mischievous desire, so they, are, so they wrap it up. So this is what's going on amongst us. Killing amongst one another, covetousness amongst one another, and it all has to stop. And this is the lifestyle that our young man, Julio Fulio, used to live. So now... It said that he was celebrating his birthday. So where did this doctrine, this custom come from? So let's go to Leviticus, Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 1. He was celebrating his birthday the same night he was murdered. So let's get Leviticus 18 and 1. The book of Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, I am the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. After the doings of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwelt, mm -hmm. shall ye not do. So the scripture says, after the doings of the land of Egypt, ye shall not do. And what was a popular custom in the land of Egypt? It was celebrating birthdays. And where did this originate from? This originated from the Pharaoh. Because the custom amongst the ancient Egyptians was that when a Pharaoh was set in, set in position, set in power, they call it a coronation day. Coronation is when that, that Pharaoh... He had a, a crown set on his head, and he became a ruler over that land. And every single year during that so-called coronation day, they'll call it his birthday. His birthday because why? They believe that's the day he became a god, that he was reborn in the spirit. That's where that ancient custom came from. We're following, still to this day following after the ways of the ancient Egyptians. So let's get an example of that in Genesis chapter 40 and verse 20. The book of Genesis, chapter 40 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday. So that third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday or Pharaoh's coronation day, read on. That he made a feast mm -hmm. unto all his servants. And that not that what we do? On our so-called birthdays, the ways we're following after ancient Egyptians, don't we have feasts? Don't we have a celebrations? Don't we uh, go into reveling and partying and getting drunk? Isn't that what we do on our so-called birthdays? Where do we get that from? The ancient Egyptians. Continue reading. And he lifted up the head of the chief butler and of the chief baker among his servants. Mm -hmm. And he restored the chief butler unto his butlership again. Mm -hmm. And he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker 
as Joseph had interpreted to them. So he hanged the chief baker. So where are we reading this custom from? Genesis chapter 40. Birthdays came from the ancient Egyptians. And what did the Lord tell us? Not to follow after their ways. Not to follow after their customs. So now let's get wisdom in Solomon chapter 2 and verse 23 now. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 23. Mm -hmm. For God created man to be immortal. What? God created man to be what? Immortal. God created us to be immortal. So you have to really think about that. If God created us to be immortal, to live, etern to live for eternity, why are we celebrating each year we're getting closer to our death? Because that's all, that's all birthdays is. Every year you're being reminded that you're getting closer to death, even getting closer to perish when God intended us to be immortal if we keep his commandments. Read that part again. For God created man to be immortal mm -hmm. and made him to be an image of his own eternity. He made us to be an image of his own eternity, to live, to be immortals just like him. So if God created us to be immortals, why are we celebrating getting closer to our death in this flesh? All right. So now let's get first Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Because what kind of music did Julio Fulio promote? Let's get that. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Mm -hmm. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. And in that video, in that, in that article, that news article that we watched, in that video, you had that Edomite man. He said, because Julio Fulio, he got popular. He went viral promoting that music. So what is that going to do? That's going to influence other young men to do the same thing because that drill music didn't start in Jacksonville. Julio Fool, he's not, he didn't originate that. That started all the way in Chicago. That Chicago drill music influenced the New York drill scene, which influenced the Jacksonville drill scene. So you have a lot of these young men coming up following that evil communication. That evil communication is not corrupting the manners of our young men. Read that part again. Verse 33. Mm -hmm. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So it says evil communications, it corrupt good manners. Because what is that evil communication going to do? It's going to make it seem like it's okay. Make it seem like it's cool to rap about the murder of your own people. We're literally rapping about the murder of young men. We're rapping about the murder of young children, teenagers, and we're glorifying that. We have to really examine ourselves and ask us. We're listening to this music that promotes the death and the murder of our people. But then when the other nations murder us, what do we say in return? Black lives matter. But we have to really be honest with ourselves. Do black lives matter amongst us as a nation of people or do black lives only matter when the other nations put us to death? You know, that's a contradicting message that we're sending out as a nation of people. If black lives are supposed to matter, it has to matter at all times. And we cannot listen to and promote drill music, gangster rap music, music that promotes fornication, whoring out our woman. All that has to, all that has to stop. Read that one more time. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 33. Mm -hmm. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. So that evil communications, that evil drill music, that evil rap music that our people listen to today, it's going to corrupt us to what? Follow after those ways. Make it To make us think it's cool to murder, have hatred towards one another, to rob, to steal, to whore out our, our woman. That's what that music does. It's that negative influence if we're not careful. So now, what, now, so now let's get Colossians chapter 3 and verse 5 now. The book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. And the Lord directs your hearts into the love of God. Colossians 3 and 5. Excuse me. The book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. Mortify, therefore, your members. So it says to mortify. Mortify, therefore, your members. We have to subdue those sinful thoughts that's within amongst all of us. Read on. Mortify, therefore, your members, which are upon the earth, mm -hmm. fornication, mm -hmm. Uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence. That evil sexual desire, read on. And covetousness. Covetousness. So these are all sins that's commonly promoted in this type of music, drill music. Continue reading. And covetousness, mm -hmm. which is idolatry. Read on. For which things sake, for which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience. Mm -hmm. In the which ye also walked sometime when ye lived in them. Mm -hmm. But now ye also put off all these, anger, mm -hmm. wrath, 
malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. So that's what, what we got to do. We got to put that filthy communication out of our mouths. We cannot follow after that drill music, that murderous music, covetousness, whoredom, selling drugs. We have to put all of that out of our mouth. And with that, I say shalom. <laughs> Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is nation? Nation is men leading by example. Oh, yeah.